welcome back to my youtube channel today i actually forgot to film my intro i thought it was bs when people said that that happened to them but no it it happened to me so <clears throat> i am just gonna go ahead and start right into it i decided to show you guys a little bit of how i cover my eyebrows just because maybe you don't feel like watching another eyebrow tutorial or whatnot but i really just rub them down with glue Spoolie them up, try to flatten them on my face, and then go over the flattened brows with the glue again. Once that dries, I'll take a little spatula and kind of scoop the glue into the actual brow. Um, you can do this in layers until they're really, really smooth. This day, I, it was like 10 o'clock at night and I was tired, so I literally just did those two layers. And then I went over it with a little bit of a peachy orange shade just to kind of block out the darkness of my brows. To set them, I take the RCMA No Color Setting Powder and with a little sponge just dab it over the eyebrows. As you can see there, that looks, it looks a little better and then you're gonna dust off the excess powder. Listen, I'm not the best at eyebrow cover-ups, alright? But this gets the job done, at least for the effect. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take my Anastasia foundation. You don't have to use this very obviously. I just like the fact that it's a stick and I run it over the eyebrows so I can really get into those crevices and hopefully avoid any shadows of any, you know, eyebrow hairs that didn't get smushed down. And while it's on the brows, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it all over my face. If you see a little bit of orange on my face, it's I didn't have a napkin to wipe my finger from the orange that I used on my eyebrows, so I was just like, oh, I'll just cover up my under eye bags and stuff but that that's unnecessary for the look that we're doing so i'm just going to take a little fluffy brush and blend out the foundation make sure it looks smooth yada yada once that's done i'm going to go back into my powder i'm not going to conceal today because honestly there's there's no point <laughs> but i am still going to set under the eyes because I don't want my foundation to crease and go ahead and set those eyebrows again after you've put the foundation on and I'm just gonna immediately wipe it off I'm sure I, I don't know there's just no point in baking but you can bake I mean if you want we're gonna take a nice what, what is this like a lilac or like a light purple shade you can use actually any set of colors I just my favorite color is purple so I tend to gravitate towards purples but I'm gonna go ahead and do the inner and outer corners of the eye very exaggerated go under your eye go above take advantage of that new lid space and as you can see here I'm pulling up the morphe 35b palette it just has two more purple shades and a black shade and I'm going to slowly you know um, what's the word gradient put them on top of each other so they can blend in so we can have a little bit more depth Obviously, the darker you go, the more centered or like, you know, very deeply you want to put in that color. But I'm using just a pencil brush and a blending brush. And I'm just blending out the colors until I get the gradient that I want. I'm going to take a cream color. You don't have to use it. You can just use glitter or something. But this is easy to remove. <laughs> so I'm just going to pat a shiny silver glitter in the center of the eye to really get that halo effect going on. Now for our little flapper girl... We're gonna contour her up. I don't actually know if flapper is contoured. I I don't know. But this flapper contours. So I'm gonna take the Anastasia contour kit and just hit the cheekbones and the forehead to try to mesh it all together, look more than just one dimensional. I also went ahead around the nose and I think I put some even under my lip. With this hard candy marbleized blush, we're gonna pack it on again. I don't know how much actual 1920s girls put on their blush, but this girl puts on her blush. Now we're going to highlight with the Amrezy highlighter. You don't have to use this. Anything works. And I like, I've been using a fan brush lately. I kind of dig it. And I'm pretty much highlighting my whole face. All of it. Up, down, and around. Just highlight everything. Even the inner corners of the eye. Just highlight everything. With a black cream, we're gonna go ahead and make our new brows. Now, they're supposed to be very thin. Um, you don't necessarily have to give it an expression, but I wanted my brows to tell their own story. If you mess up a little, just make sure that you grab some concealer and you can clean them right up. But as you can see, I pointed mine upwards. I don't know, I felt like it made me look sad, but also like, I don't know, interesting. Now I'm gonna line 
the lips with that same black, you know, cream color. Then I'm going to take this Anastasia liquid lip. This is in the color Craft, and I'm just going to place that right in the center. I know that Flapper Girls, they had a very strong Cupid's bow and very thin lips. I made mine thick and pouty, but whatever floats your boat. And I'm going to add just a couple beauty marks because what would I be without them? And that completes the look. She is so cute. I did add lashes, which I totally forgot to mention. Add any you want. And that is it. I hope you guys are enjoying these Halloween videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!